I'm State Representative Mark Hargrove and I represent the 47th Legislative District. I wanted to talk today about the budget that we'll need to pass by April 23rd. It actually is three separate budgets. The first is the capital budget and it's going to be about $4 billion in new appropriations and another about $3 billion of reappropriations, basically meaning for projects that didn't get done in the last biennium that they can continue to work on those. The capital budget, my impression is that it's basically worked out in a fairly bipartisan manner and it's to get mostly building projects. There are some things in there like a loan fund so that cities can borrow money for their specific projects and so on. The second budget is the transportation budget and I'm a little bit more intimately involved with that because as the assistant ranking Republican on the House Transportation Committee, I've been in those meetings where we've been going going through the budget line by line uh, trying to come up with a complete budget. The transportation budget amounts to about $8.5 billion and it includes various transportation projects, maintenance, uh, highway patrol, and it's funded by some of its own revenue sources. For example, car tabs, gas tax, tolls, and some federal money and all that. I should clarify that when I talk about car tabs, this is different from Sound Transit 3 that is a separate pile of money going to a separate agency. Also the transportation one I think has been done in a fairly bipartisan manner and generally we're able to come to a budget that we can agree on pretty well. The third one is the big piece and that is the operating budget. The operating budget when I first got elected, the 2011-13 to biennium, that amounted to about 31 billion dollars. In the last biennium that we're just finishing up now, 15 to 17, is about $38 billion. And you can see that's a pretty hefty increase. Now, we have proposals for the coming biennium, the 17 to 19, and the numbers that I'm seeing now are 43 to maybe $46 billion for that budget. The Senate Republicans' budget is at the lower end of that. They were able to finance all of that without increasing revenue, no new taxes to make that happen. One of the interesting things about it is that education takes up just over half of the budget. It's the huge piece of it. Of particular interest in the 47th district is that it amounts to millions of dollars more for the Kent and Auburn school districts and actually decreases property taxes for most residents in the district. The Democrat proposal, a little bit higher, it actually relies on about $3 billion more in tax increases. And I'm a little concerned about that as we're trying to get our economy going. It's not the right move. It involves things like increased B&O taxes. I've talked with car dealers who tell me that that would mean about $51,000 more tax for the average car dealer in the state. There's also increases in real estate excise taxes. Those kinds of things I don't think are necessary. We already have significant improvements in our economy. We're able to fund education without those tax increases, and I think that's the way we need to go. So a ways to go in the compromise, but I'm still hoping that we can get those coming together and completed by the end of the legislative session on April 23rd.